Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Monday, July the 18th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. It is a free room. I share my screen all day long and the room is open uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time in which I'm live on the mic. Now, here is a link for um, take out a subscription to Trade Ideas. I am going to also put in the body of it. There is a new promo, excuse me, a new promo code key k-e-y two the number two and drive key to drive all in capital letters if you decide that you want to take out a subscription to trade ideas and the discount is a little bit more than uh, normal especially off off, off our uh, premium package now this is obviously a I shouldn't say obviously if you don't know a very exciting week for us because you know we have this uh, promo going on uh, for 7.99 people can come into our room for the entire week and not just to the room, but I mean, they can access trade ideas, everything, our AI channel, our price alerts, everything is live, real time, the whole bit for $7.99. Consequently, we had more than 600 people in the room today. Uh, definitely a challenge. We had a lot of questions. Uh, I did my best to answer. Uh, Dan has been in the room and, and um, some of the other people from trade ideas, Steve and Jamie have been in the room helping out. Uh, one of the things is is that I'm not using my, my typical layout, so it was a little more of a challenge for me because, you know, understandably, um, Dan and I, I get the idea that they wanted me to use a slightly different layout to sort of show people how you can get involved with trade ideas right from the beginning using our channel bar. You don't know, you don't have to know how to create a, an alert window or a topless window or anything like that. And so, consequently, that's what I was doing. Uh, tomorrow, I may go back to my my layout and uh, concentrate a little bit more on trading but also helping people because that's really what, what we're all about trying to help people not just to trade but also to learn how to understand and use the program now uh, just as an aside here I am still in this one uh, SPHS uh, this came again from our, our, our great little low floaters on the move uh, <laughs> I think it was right where was the fire is right there at 301 I got in at 308 and I traded, so I got in right about here and I traded some out at 325. Because I did that, even though it, I was looking uh, to get out of it, if it broke down below three, believe me, but I was able to hold on and now it's starting to come back. So we'll see what happens with uh, Sapphira's SPHS. Uh, the early morning trade, again, from our famous little low floater window was uh, VII, which was very active last week. Let's see what VII did. And that was an alert at 99 cents. And again, look at this move. Again, on a percentage basis, just fantastic. So I actually got into this trade at uh, right here. Uh, it's actually at 108. 108, I got into the trade right there. Let me put a mark. Got into the trade right there. And I took some off almost immediately. I took some off at uh, 130, and then on the way, you know, at 130, and then on the way back down at 135, and then on the way on the way back down at 110. And now it's just sort of sitting here to see what happens uh, tomorrow with this one. This one had an amazing day last week. Show you the daily chart on it. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of lag here. I don't know why, but. He doesn't uh, keep going. You know, this was on uh, July the 8th. Look at the uh, incredible move it had. Uh, 50 cents all the way up to $1.80. So not quite as dramatic today, but uh, listen, if this closes above here, uh, 106, I would definitely be watching this tomorrow to see if we're going to have any sort of continuation on uh, VII. Now, Holly, very interestingly, only had three strategies that made the cut today all right however even within those three uh, only one strategy actually triggered any alerts and that was the sunrise mover which is looking for kind of kind of early morning earlier morning trades but look what happened here we had um only one loser in holly today the clm was a uh, like three cents the rest you know you know we <laughs> If I look at, in fact, I was in IOC at, at uh, early on, and I, unfortunately, I did get shaken out of it. But I did take IOC. Here, let me just get the 15-minute uh, up again. 
I did take IOC at uh, 49.10 as it broke over the whole number. Traded some out at uh, 49.39 right up here. And then as it was pulling back, uh, actually in this candle right there, got me out, kind of shook me out 49.11. Um, because I, you know, my excuse is that I was obviously quite distracted today with all the questions. Uh, I'm not, listen, I'm not complaining at all, but a little bit distracted today because of all the questions coming in. And so I should have put an alert right about here because look what it did after that. And that's why it's so important to watch this non, well, we call it now the risk on profit fa or column, uh, old non exit profit column because IOC, I mean, at one point it was actually all the way up to here at 5011 from a 49 so over a dollar uh on ioc i'm not saying you could have got out right at the top here and you know this is this is pretty whippy but uh, on a day when ollie basically has been we've had one two three four five six seven eight nine trades eight of them have been successful modestly you know some of them modestly but you know, as Dan has said in the room, Holly is not all about just making big gains on every trade. A lot of it is, you know, managing your trades and managing. We're going to have losing days. I mean, it's that simple. Holly is, is, is yes, it's a fabulous machine and it, and it optimizes the strategies every single day. But uh, trust me, we're going to have some losing days. So what Holly does when we added this reduce risk, uh, you know, it, it's Holly looked at this trade and said, you know what? It's just kind of doing not that much and it's starting to drift down, held it for a bit of time. We're going to get out. So that's why Holly exits, you know, for a little three cent loss instead of holding on. Not, not that, you know, right now it's only down 10 cents from the, uh, from the high or for, from the entry, but it could have been down a dollar at this point. So all I'm saying is that, you know, Holly is doing a spectacular job now at managing the trades. Uh, and sometimes you're going, we're, we are going to see that the profits in these are going to be extraordinary by extraordinary. I mean, you know, it, Holly's been conservative now, but we're, we're learning and learning and, and she's, she's teaching us almost how to trade. So we're going to start to see probably that Holly, you know, it maybe starts getting, will get maybe a little more liberal. And as, as she starts learning this profit save routine that we've got, maybe it starts to move it up a little bit instead of, you know, getting out at 13 when really, you know, the profit was uh, now it's at 76 cents. Anyway, sort of digress here. Um, I am, you know, very excited about where Holly is, uh, has come from, even at just in the last three weeks with, you know, this uh, profit save and reduce risk. Uh, all, all of these new factors are, are coming into Holly, which is just going to make for a beginning trader a lot easier to manage their trades. So um, that's, that's about it. I'm itching to get back into the room and answer a whole bunch of questions. Uh, let's just take a look again. I have it on the other screen. I just want to show you what uh, SPHS is doing. Uh, and, you know, as long as it holds this level, it may start moving up from it. So as long as it holds this level, uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to swing it, but certainly there's no reason for me to get rid of it right now. The other trade I should, I should have mentioned, I'm sorry, was MRNS, which I'm out of now. This is, this is something that we were looking at on Friday. Uh, let's take a look at a five minute uh, chart and you're going to see, you know, back at, back it out just a little bit. This is one that we were all looking at when it broke over to, and I'm sorry, I think there's some dinging in the background. I've got something open and I don't understand, I don't know how to close it. Um, so, you know, bear with me. Uh, I'm sure I'll have it fixed by tomorrow. But this is one that we were looking at. Uh, take a look at the daily on this. You can see why. I mean, we thought, well, if this can break $2, and which it did on, uh, on Friday, uh, look at this incredible void right here, a $2 all the way up to maybe $6 or so on a percentage basis. That's a fantastic potential gap fill that could be taking place. However, as I was saying on Friday, look at the five minute chart, you'll see that, I, I mean, I was in this and I trade, but I traded it out. Once this started happening, I thought, you know what, I got to get out of this because this could now, this, maybe it's not just, it's just not ready yet to, uh, to maintain over $2. However, I was watching it. No question, I was watching it. And so when this action started, um, you know, I got, got me very interested again. And I was actually a little bit late. I probably should have been in into MRNS right around here. I was a little bit late. I got in at uh, 231 right here on this little pullback. And then I sold some out at uh, 257 right up here. And then I have sold the balance 
I've sold the balance of my uh, of my MRNS. Uh, I actually took a two cent loss, two twenty nine. Uh, on, on the balance, but I will still continue to watch this. But it, you know, it's just kind of maybe not ready, kind of maybe almost. But you know, it's just one of those things where it's teasing people. Is it really, really going to uh, start to uh, jet up from here? So definitely keep this one on your watch list. All right, um, SPHS is still hanging in there. 313. Again, I'm in at 308. So if it now if it dropped down again below uh, probably 305, I probably get out of it. But right now I, I will hold on and see what happens. All right. Well, listen, this has been uh, what a week so far. Uh, Monday. Uh, hope everybody comes back because you know I mean trade ideas is. Uh, it's not difficult, but there can be a lot to it. So, I mean, you know, people who come in for the first time, might it, it looks kind of overwhelming. But that's why we have the trading room open every single day. It is free. I'm here to help. Dan pops in every now and then. We have the four free uh, webinars every single week. We are really trying to help everybody. Uh, not, not, not just not to call out trades like buy this now, or, but you know explain the program to them so you can do it yourself and of course keep keep uh, within the room because the room has just got a lot of great traders and the more more eyeballs uh seeing some great setups the better it is of course so anyway thanks very much for listening i hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow and again uh watch for the promo code it'll be in the, in the text of this uh of the youtube um it'll be again key to drive k-e-y to the number two drive d-r-i-v-e and all in caps and that'll get you a, a a really great discount off our premium service all right thanks for listening hope to see you in the trading room tomorrow Bye bye